I'm driven honest to God crazy by this. Oh my God, I can't handle this. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at an account that is very much focused on piercing at home and doing self piercings. There's only a few videos on here, but they've gained quite a lot of traction and obviously a lot of people have seen them. And you know how I feel about these type of videos getting out into the world and for young impressionable people to watch these. And although it's not a tutorial, it's definitely pretty easy to go, okay, that's what you do first, that's what you do second, and that's what you do third. Like, no one's that much of a moron that they can't follow, like, watching something without actually being told the steps. Although the steps are kind of explained. pierce our bridge so I took it out about two days ago and I'm just gonna be re-piercing it so I can pierce it a little bit deeper okay so I've cleaned it with some rubbing alcohol um I would just like to say that you should definitely wait longer than two days in fact you should wait two weeks before trying to re-pierce anything as you can see you can still sort of see where it was potentially she didn't have it for long but regardless even if you only were wearing it for a short amount of time you should still wait you need the area to be completely healed over and that includes inside as well before you attempt to pierce again why am i giving advice to someone who's doing a piercing at home or <laughs> acting like they should know this. Clearly doesn't know this because you're piercing yourself at home. And now I'm just going to mark it. Okay, it's marked. It looks straight to me, so we're just going to go with it. I have my 16 gauge needle right here. I know you're supposed to use 14, but... Damn. I'm going in freehand as well. Fuck. I wonder if this girl has done some of her other piercings. Oh my god, this is a thing that I can't deal with when people are piercing themselves at home. Is like, it it shouldn't have to be this slow. Like, you're putting yourself through hell for absolutely no reason. Like, this is so slow. Like, I get why people do it. It's because they're trying to make it perfect. Fuck, look at her bridge just bending so hard. Like, it just, it shouldn't take this long. Piercing should be quick and easy. Oh my god, my hands are so fucking clammy. So... Oh, damn. Down the bottom, it literally said... I was gonna say, yeah, they're clammy because this has been a process for fucking an hour. Down the bottom, it literally says I had to go through 45 minutes of footage. So potentially that's how long it took her to actually get the piercing done and this is the thing you see so often with piercings that are done at home think about the time you've wasted when you could have got a piercer to have you in and out within 15 minutes you've just wasted your life here and wasted pain that didn't need to like you didn't need to suffer through this for that long why do people do this to yourselves And I get, like, I get that she's you trying to go. You push the jewelry. Never pull. Oh, look at the blood. Okay. <laughs> okay. That jewelry is not long enough. On because I have nails, so I can't. Um, and then I'm going to clean up. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> Pain was about 4 out of 10, but I think it's because I went deeper this time around. Sorry, I, I keep forgetting to pause. I'm just sitting here, like, dying. Honestly, it doesn't look bad, but, like, you didn't have to go through that. And also, the jewelry is, like, where's the swell room? Please tell me. Obviously, so it was a little bit more painful than the first go around. And it definitely looks like I'm going to have some bruising, but I still have some bruising from my eyebrow piercings. So I guess for whatever reason, I'm just more prone to bruising, which is weird, but yeah, this is it. Wait, did you do the eyebrow piercing herself as well? I'm gonna click on the page and have a look. Oh, yep, we have an account that is dedicated to um, me piercing myself. I'm having a bad day. So I'm gonna pierce my ear and I'm not gonna post it on my main account because I will probably get banned from posting if I do that. But I think I'm gonna pierce like this area and I'm gonna put a hoop in it. This ear. 
Don't do that. That fucking stupid. So I got my needle right here in a sterile pack. I just want to be clear that I'm not advising anybody to purse themselves, but if you're going to, at least try and do it in the most sanitary way that you can. Normally, whenever I do purse myself, I use gloves and stuff, but I don't have that right now. So if I just. <laughs> Okay, so not telling people to pierce, but do it in the most sanitary way, but I'm not going to do it in the most sanitary way. So really, I shouldn't even be posting this because if I was trying to convince people that they should do it in the most sanitary way, then I would be showing them the most sanitary way that we can do it from home. But I'm not going to do that because I don't actually really give a fuck. Okay, it's been a couple hours later and I've decided that I'm going to pierce my surface trees instead. So yeah, I'm gonna mark it and then I'll come back. Okay, so I took I'm so interested to see if this one's gonna be a free hand as well. My lashes off and I have it marked. I had to remove it a couple times. I did get the piercing in initially, but it was too short. So I will try to record, but we'll see. Alright, I'm just trying to find the hole now. Oh! I don't know where the end of the needle is, so. No, 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 no. Well, to begin with, do you feel no pain? Because you're literally just pulling on your skin with the needle. From the look of it, that area really doesn't look like it's got enough meat there to host to this piercing. And I would say this piercing will most definitely migrate. You've really got to have like a substantial bit there in order to have this piercing because it is one that is prone to migrating. And this freehand, I know I know some people do it freehand, but you are just going to get it so much accurate if you're using tools to do this. Take it further so I can thread the jewelry through. I got the jewelry in. That was a struggle. And there's like, no, <laughs> no <laughs> spell room again. And then we'll be back. It's in bitch. There's none. There's none at all. At all. Let me tell you. That was a fucking struggle trying to get that through. I don't have like the threaders or the tapers that they normally use to thread the jewelry through, so I had to do it manually. But it's here. I really love it. I think it looks cool. It's unique. You don't really see it all the time. Why don't you see it all the time? <laughs> you don't see it all the time because it don't fucking work most of the time. Because most of the time we assess the area and it cannot be done because it is going to migrate. That's why you generally don't see it all the time. A lot of people want it. Hell, a lot of people love that piercing. Even if you've got like a little bit to grab there, that doesn't mean it's enough to pierce the area. The bar is far too snug for a new piercing. Two out of 10 pain, um, wasn't that bad at all. Um, yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. I genuinely would have loved to have seen what happened in the transition from needle to jewelry, because as she said, there was no taper and she just did it manually. Manually meaning like trying to line up that jewelry with a needle that is the same size as the jewelry, especially because it was a blade needle. It's not even going to sort of like sit in there at all. Like it, it won't fit. So you're basically trying to push the jewelry through next to the needle. And what makes it even worse is that it's externally threaded jewelry. So that shit's just gonna rip up the fucking inside of that new tunnel you've created. Like, it's just gonna be shredding it. That whole piercing is fucked. You fucked it, and the, it's ruined. I need to look deeper into this person's life now and know what is going on with this piercing. How slow you went pained me. I could never. What a badass. Um, I'm just gonna use this comment to address a bunch of the other comments. So absolutely no hate to this person at all, and thank you so much. Okay, so first thing I want to address is how slow I went. So obviously I'm doing this on myself and I had to absolutely make sure that it was as straight as I could possibly get it. It's a bridge piercing, obviously. It's in the middle of your- Like I get why she's going as slow as she is, like trying to get it as accurate as possible. And also it hurts. And like a lot of people go really slow when they're piercing themselves, but it's not- not necessary. Go to a piercer and you're not going to sit there for an hour to 
get a piercing and go through that much pain. Like the pain is just prolonged in this space. And if it's even slightly off, there is no way that you can hide that shit whatsoever. Some people don't mind crooked bridge piercings. I personally do mind and I don't want mine to go crooked, which is why I took it out and repaired it in the first place. I have actually stated in my other videos that I have on this page that I do go extremely slow whenever it comes to piercing myself. Part of that just has to deal with anxiety. So if I go super slow, I can feel if I'm hitting something I am not supposed to be hitting. <laughs> can you tell me what you're hitting that you're not supposed to be hitting? Because you wouldn't even know what it is that you're hit hitting. Most of the time, when you're piercing something, you're not going, oh, am I going to hit something? This is why we check for veins prior to doing a piercing and we won't pierce an area if we can see the vein is there. So in terms of like hitting something, I mean, I guess in terms of the bridge, you're talking about going too deep, like hitting bone <laughs> essentially. But she's talking about all her piercings. She goes slow in case she hits something. So you're going to know when you hit something. Is that is that how it is? You're going to know when you hit something. If you hit something, it's too late. It doesn't make sense to say like, oh, I'll know if I hit something. The thing you're going to hit are veins and you should be checking them before and not piercing where the veins are. So you're not going to hit them anyway because you can see them. So this really doesn't make any sense. And if it feels off that I can just take it out and either start over or just completely disregard the piercing altogether. Imagine us piercing people. You feeling a bit off? Because if it's feeling a bit off, I'll take it out and I'll disregard the piercing. But if you're not feeling off, we'll just fucking keep going for it. What? That would make sense. What you're saying do not make any sense. If it feels off, what? What? I don't know what areas on your body you're piercing that are feeling off, but that just tells me like you are very worried and anxious about what you're doing and you shouldn't be doing this. Like Go to a professional. It's going to alleviate all that anxiety and stress because they're going to take care of you. They have like a duty of care over you. I know that you're just doing whatever you want to yourself, but it's not safe. And if you don't even feel confident in it and you don't feel safe in doing it, why are you doing it? And if you weren't broadcasting this to the whole of TikTok, the whole of the world essentially to see, it wouldn't matter, but you're sort of showing people how to pierce and then telling them like, you know, you can do the piercing, but if it feels a bit off, then stop. That isn't safe. That's not safe. You're not checking the area prior to piercing. You don't know what you're doing. So just don't. Of like hitting certain nerves and stuff like that in my face. So if you're hitting a nerve, it's too late. It's not like you can like go, oh, I know I've hit the nerve now. I better take it out. It's not how it works. If you've damaged a nerve, you fucking damaged a nerve. It's not like, oh, I better take it out and then not have the piercing there. The needle would have already done the damage. Also, the reason we can do a lot of the piercings that you can get is because for the most part they are safe, but we always do check as well. The thing is, if you aren't checking anything before, you're going in blind anyway. Because what I'm taking from this is if I put the needle through and then something feels a bit off, I'll take the needle out and then I don't put the jewelry in and I'm saved. I'm saved. It's not how it works. Stop trying to tell these people these things you don't goddamn know what you're talking about. I do go a lot slower than you probably should. So going slower equal don't hit nerve. Safe from hitting nerve if go slower. Most of the time, most of your piercings will be safe from hitting a nerve. So that's a reason why piercings can be done in certain areas because there aren't nerves in those areas. In regards to clamps, these are the type of clamps that I do have. So I do have them. I mainly use them for oral piercings on myself, obviously. And the only reason why I don't want to use them when it comes to surface piercing because they aren't the right clamp for the surface piercings. That's why. Is because I have had a lot of bruising when it came to using clamps when I got piercings done by professionals. Maybe I understand why she doesn't want to go to a professional now. I think I finally understand. Um, you shouldn't be getting bruising. Those piercers are clipping the clamps, which they should not be doing. You have enough strength in your hand to not clip them. Like, I honestly, as I've said before, I don't even know why it is such a big thing in like the US overseas. Why piercers love to use like the rubber band on the clamp. Every piercer I know in Australia, we've 
maybe we're just strong here, but we have enough strength in our hand to not have to clamp anything down, like clip it, and to not have to use a rubber band. By the sound of it, either those were rubber banded, like way hella fucking strong, or they have clipped it. Because when you clip it, you're going to bruise someone. That is fucking burst in those blood vessels. So I feel bad for in that sense that like you've had such bad experiences all the time with your professional piercings. And maybe this is why she has opted to go for self piercings, which I don't support. But you must have had some bad experiences to want to do this to yourself. I can minimize the bruising. I will. I understand that I have bruising anyways, but it would probably would have been a lot worse if I used the clamps. A piercer told me that when we use clamps, you're squeezing the skin, you push the needle through, and you're bursting a bunch of blood vessels, causing bruising. But not always. You don't have to. Don't get me wrong, there are certain piercings that will bruise, like it's bound to happen, but shouldn't be with every piercing. And also this piercer sounds like they've sort of told you that to sort of like make up for them bruising you all the time potentially. Like that's, uh, that's definitely a thing that piercers do is like, they'll, uh, I've said it before, they'll sort of make up a little um, fib or a little like story to tell you to explain why something be might be happening to you, why your piercing might look like this or why your piercing might have reacted in a certain way. This is the reason why. Oh yeah, clamps just burst all the blood vessels. They don't always. Also, since it's in the middle of my face, if I were to use clamps, then I would have greatly decreased my vision. And to address the one and only comment that I got about it, um, I use straight bar because that is what you're supposed to use whenever you are piercing a bridge. I obviously can't get into more detail about that, but... This is my third time having um, a bridge piercing, and the very first time I got it done at a shop, they pierced me with a curved bar saying that that is what you're supposed to use, and it rejected and started getting bubbles on it within the first month. With the straight bar, I never had any issues, I just didn't pierce it deep enough the first time. So. <sighs> it sounds like every piercing shop you've been to has been trash, so I understand why you want to do your piercings at home, because... But maybe just look for some better piercers though, honestly. Maybe you are better than the piercers you've been to. <laughs> now I feel bad for you, honestly. This has been a journey together. I'm sorry that I'm coming at you so strong. It's more the fact that I don't love the sort of showing people how to pierce. I know you're not doing a tutorial, you're not doing like a step by step, but like it's pretty easy for young and impressionable people to just buy this shit online and pierce themselves at home and just like watch a video and look at the steps that were taken like you don't have to speak it out to the people they can see it that's what I don't like and that's why I'm trying to really explain why this is wrong and why you shouldn't be doing this and that's why you should really rethink posting these kinds of videos because yeah hell yeah they get a lot of views like that's great but like they're also causing like a lot more harm than good in saying that like I don't want to hit a nerve like what if someone who's copied you does it causes them, causes them a lot of trouble and trauma. Like, that's something that's not okay. I had a look at some newer videos than the Surface Tragus, and it's definitely... It's gone. She's gone. But, oh my god, what a journey it has been. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like down below, and subscribe if you're new here, and I'll be back very soon. Bye.